Hello and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a little mini vlog for you all. I used to vlog uh, every week and I stopped doing it um, because oh, I didn't really have anything interesting to vlog and so I don't want to do them every week but if there's something interesting happening or there's something I particularly want to share then I may do more of these little mini vlogs. So the reason I'm making this one this week is because I'm making some changes around the house so I'm recently single, which is really sad. Um, it's something that I've talked about on my Instagram. It's not something I'm necessarily gonna talk about too much here on my YouTube, but essentially I am now living in my house alone. Um, I won't be living here forever. I'm gonna be moving in a few months, but in the short term, I wanted to make a few changes in the house just to make it sort of feel more like mine and also just to have a bit of a refresh. And one of those is I wanted a bit of sort of new bed karma. You know, now I'm sleeping in my bed on my own. I wanted it to sort of be mine and have some new, uh, yeah, a new feeling about it. So I was really, really lucky that Silent Night um, asked me to go and visit their store at Lakeside um, where I went shopping with Emma. And they actually, bless them, came in at the nick of time and sorted me right out. They have gifted me a new mattress, um, some new pillows, a new duvet and a new duvet cover as well as some other goodies and I was so, so grateful um, to them. It was lovely, I had such a good visit in store and the mattress is being delivered today. So I thought I would just film my new mattress arriving and me making up my new bed um, and give you guys a little bit of a look at my bedroom, how it is now, obviously, like I said, I'm gonna be moving, so, but I'm going to be able to take my new mattress with me wherever I go, so I felt like it was a good thing to do. And yeah, bless Silent Night for being my hero I think. Uh, I don't think they realise how much they actually helped me out. So I'm just waiting for the delivery men to turn up. They should be due any time now. I've already taken off the old mattress so the bed is bare and yeah I've just got to wait for them to arrive and deliver it up here and then I can start making my new bed for me to sleep in tonight. I'm so excited. The thing is the mattress before was nice but um, it wasn't necessarily my taste of um, comfort, you know, like I would prefer a softer mattress. So this time I got to pick my own mattress for however I wanted it and it's nice and soft. I'm gonna make some of the changes um, this week. Nothing too drastic, because there's no point really if you're gonna move, but I'm gonna have a bit of a swap -a -roo round on Saturday of my living room and just give it a sort of new look, um, keeping all the existing stuff that I've got, but just put it in there in a sort of different arrangement and see if that just helps me feel like a little new lease of life, as it were. So it's here, it's all in, they were absolutely drenched, I mean it re like it really is tipping down and they tried to put on these little plastic shoe covers and it was just, I was just like, do you know what, just come in. There we go, it fits um, this base much better than the old mattress did so I'm really happy about that. It is the Geltex Pocket 1000 so essentially it is a pocket sprung mattress at the bottom and then a gel type uh, mattress on the top. So they're sort of, they're joined together. But when I lay on it in the shop, it was that nice combination of medium soft. So it's got a little bit of softness to it, um, but not too much. I've got all my stuff here ready. I'm gonna make my bed, but thought I would just show you some of the lovely things that um, Silent Night gave me. So obviously we've got the lovely mattress, but they also gifted me 
this um, duvet and it's their softer silk duvet and it's all snuggly and lovely. Now I'm not going to put this on because I actually chose a 13.5 tog which is um, more of a wintry duvet so I'm actually going to keep this in the packaging and save this until it gets a little bit colder and then I've got a lovely nice wintry duvet to go on my bed when the temperature drops so um, but yeah, it comes in this nice uh, zippy thing, which I can obviously keep it stored in, which is good. I'm going to put that to one side. What is going on the bed now, and in fact I've already been using one, is a brand new pillow. So this is one of their Geltex pillows, so it's the same technology as the mattress itself. It's quite a firm pillow. Um, but the idea is, is that they keep you cool, they're very supporting for people who sleep on their side, which I do. Um, so yeah, they gifted me two of these as well. They were so kind, I'm so, so grateful to them. Um, it's such a treat, so it's so nice to have something really, really good quality to sleep on. So I've got two pillows, and then two of my own pillows, which are sort of um, soft, thin ones, which are going to sit underneath the Geltex pillows. And then they also let me choose um, some bedding. So I've actually chosen this grey um, stripe jersey. It's got one stripe on one side and another on the opposite side. And yeah, it's a jersey. Oh no, it's yeah, cotton rich jersey. So I'm hoping it'll be sort of like nice and soft and snuggly. So I'm going to put that on. They also gave me a little hippo toy, which let's be honest, this, this is the best thing I got given. This is for me to snuggle up with at night. Actually, he's very soft, you know. I've never been one to sleep with a toy, um, even when I was younger, but he is very, very adorable. I'm gonna make my bed now. So, I also need to put all these cushions on there. If we're gonna do this, let's do this properly, eh? This bedding feels lovely though, like really, um, like a really nice soft t-shirt it feels like, yeah. So I have a throw which normally sits on the end of the bed. Um, there. I've got some pink pillows. And I have a grey one as well. <laughs> what do we think? There we go. Finished. So this is my uh, throw that I've got, which is actually from Eve Sleep. And got all my pillows piled up. And then my little prints. I think it looks really nice. And I can't wait to get in it later. And I know I'm just going to take all of that off to get in it. But hey ho, don't matter, does it? I think it looks super nice. Can't wait to get in it later. So as I said earlier, um, Silent Night um, also sent me some things in the post. Um, like a little sort of sleep goodie bag as it were and they sent me some products and I didn't even know that Silent Night did these so I'm going to show you them um, just so you can see them but again it's not sponsored it's just I like the products I think they're really nice they look really nice and I just thought as part of my whole new bedroom karma I would just show you everything. So this is what they sent me they sent me um, some of their um, sleep products so these are made um, by Wax Lyrical, which um, you might have heard of. They make candles and reed diffuse and, th and things. So this is a lavender and chamomile reed diffuser. There is a um, lavender and chamomile. This is a room spray. But I really like the star packaging. It's lovely. And then there is a lavender and chamomile candle as well. So these are all... Um, yeah, you can get all these at Silent Night when you're buying your bedding. Isn't that lovely? Can you see that? What's it smell like? Yeah, it's nice. Quite subtle. It's 
see obviously lavender is very um, soothing, uh, helps you go to sleep and I do struggle to go to sleep at night. Um, I do find it hard to relax. So I'm going to just pop the candle out, out of the box and see if the ambient smell of it helps me fall asleep this evening and I may give the room spray just a little um, spritz as well. Yeah, very excited for my new mattress and bed to go to sleep tonight, although look at me, I'm totally like sweaty from changing bedding. I have to say, changing bedding is one of my least favourite things to do in the world, even if it's new bedding. And I do love new bedding. Well, I like buying new bedding, I just don't like putting it on. So yeah, that's my little um, new bed situation. Um, yeah, I'm going to tackle the living room on Saturday. Tomorrow I'm off to London um, to do some work with Olympus. Um, so yeah, I shall catch you back on here again on Saturday. So see you soon. Hello, it is now Saturday. So today I'm going to have a little bit of a rejig of um, my living room. So I've been out already to Tesco's. You right there? Could you be quiet please? I'm trying to film. <laughs> so yeah, I've already been out to Tesco's because I hired this um, thing called a rug doctor, which is a um, carpet cleaner. You can clean carpets, rugs, upholsteries with it. I'm going to have a really, really good clean of my rug, my lower duke rug, because it's looking a bit of a mess, and my sofa, and some other bits and bobs. But yeah, I fancy just having a rejig of my living room, moving everything around, trying to make it feel a little bit um, different. That's my plan today, anyway. So I'm going to show you the living room, what it's like now, um, and yeah, talk you through what I'm thinking that I'm going to do. So this is uh, the living room. It's kind of just, because uh, the house is a new build, it's um, basically just a big white rectangle really, um, which there's just stuff in it. It's never really had any sort of theme to it or anything. I've never really been 100% happy. Oh look, there's Gus. And all of the dog hair, oh, I need to hoover, which is one of the things I need to do. So, at the moment, this is what I've got. I've got a console table here, which is one of my DIYs. I will link the video in the description box. So, it's a marble and gold um, console table that I made. And I've got the big corner sofa here. Well, it's a chaise type sofa. So, this is what I need to clean is the sofa. Um, because unfortunately my little doggy, Eddie, who really enjoys sitting on the sofa, um, also has a habit of vomiting. And I know I shouldn't let him on the sofa then, but he's old and he's my baby. And if it makes him happy to sit on the sofa, then I'm happy for him to sit on the sofa. So the other cushions I can take off and I can wash them, but this chaise end is fixed and you can't take it off. I'm gonna clean up that. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I might move the sofa further along, but we'll see. I've got these prints on the wall, they're staying. Now these um, testers of paint were because originally we were going to paint this room a darker colour, so we painted some testers on the wall. I'm not going to do that now because in a couple of months we're going to be selling the house and I think it's better to leave it as white. So I'm actually going to paint over these. However, if you are interested, um, this was my favourite. And uh, that is an Annie Sloan colour and it's just a lovely blue. I was going to do that whole wall uh, and round there in blue as well. But obviously decided not to keep it white because I reckon people buying the house all um, prefer white. And then over in this corner, we've got a little um, map armchair and a hamper over there. And I've got my little magazine rack, which I got from HomeSense, which I love. Um, and then in this corner, we've got shelving unit. I'll link all of these bits in my description box um, if you're interested. Got a shelving unit in this corner and then like two random poofs, uh, footstools the dog's bed so they've got two beds in here and yet they still sit on the sofa this when I did my blog post about the um house uh, about the living room was like the most asked thing I got asked about was this dog sofa so if I can find it to link I will try uh, and then on the main wall we've got tv unit um got a shelf above with some bits and bobs on there 
I've got this beautiful print which I got at the Jaeger press event and then along here this is my frame from the DIY that's on my channel uh, this week or uh, last week and then down here at the other side of the TV unit I've got this concrete planter with um, it's actually a fake plant in there and some gravel some sort of boxes and then a little um, basket of Gus's uh, toys and then in front of the sofa I've got my Laradoot rug which is one of the things I'm going to give a clean to because it's a little bit matted because Gus does like to sit on it so as you can see it's just it's gone a bit matted and the whole place just needs a good hoover and a good tidy and then I've got the little coffee table on. So what I'm thinking is um, I'm going to do the DIY bits first and do the cleaning and stuff first but yeah I'm thinking I might move my sofa further along um, I'm going to change around this area here. I've actually got some marble tables that I bought from Aldi in the sale, which I was saving until I moved into my new place. But I think I'm going to put them there, get rid of that gold table, send it up to my office. I'm going to swap around this corner. I'm even debating about maybe this chair going over in this corner and this shelving unit going over in this corner and the sofa moving along. I'm gonna start off by hoovering everywhere and then I need to go and get the, this rug doctor thing out of my car uh, and suss out how it works. So yeah, I better get on. <laughs> So I think actually the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to have to sand the this um, paint on the wall because it's on quite thick and if I just paint white over it you're going to actually see the, the shape of those um, samples that I've painted. So, so I'm going to have to sand the wall and there's going to be loads of dust that's going to come off. So I'm going to do that first and then I can hoover up all that dust and then the rug is all hoovered. So I'm going to clean the rug. Like, I know it's like really sad to be so excited about a rug doctor. But, uh, yeah, I am. Um, that's just, you know, how I roll. So here it is. Dum, dum, dum. The rug doctor. So it's just kind of like a big sort of vacuum thing. But you can hire them. I got mine from Tesco's and you can pick it up from a locker. Basically you put carpet cleaner and water in this bit and then you can do both carpet cleaning and um, you can use the hand tool on the old sofa. So I'm going to give this, um, this rug a go. I just turned that on and a load of horrid smelly water just... <laughs> Just shot out at me. Okie dokie. Well, that was like, look, I'm like sweating. That was a little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, the connectors at the back were not connected properly and it took me ages to get them connected. But anyway, I've done it and I have done the sofa as well. I'm going to paint this next. But I also gave the um, map chair a go over as well. I mean, everything's wet. I don't know how long everything's going to take to dry. If it wasn't so warm outside, I would put the heating on. So, yeah, I've uh, put a few coats of paint on this. You can still see it peeking through. I think it's going to take another two coats of paint. So, um, I've kept the paint and the roller out. And while I'm doing, well, waiting see. for that to dry and, um, before I can do another one. Oh, excuse me, I've just accidentally pressed play on the telly. I'm watching my favourite programme. Tipping point. I just love it. <laughs> Yeah, so while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to start having my little move around of stuff and just see how it all looks. How many flags? 
tanks are to convey the message in system. They're the ones that burn the radio, don't they? Yeah. So these are the tables that I got from Aldi. I got them on sale for £12.99. They're like a black metal with a real marble on the top. And I was saving them until I moved into my new house. But I'm thinking I'm going to get them out and I'm going to put the small one there and the larger one here next to the sofa. I'm going to have to build them, I think, faffing around like with my coffee table and everything, but I'm going to start getting the last bits in and then it'll be finished. Although um, the chaise is still wet. I don't know if I'm going to have to do another go at it tomorrow. I'm not sure. And then the other thing that I've done, which you might have noticed, is uh, over there in that corner, uh, where is it? That corner. I've used one of my decenio prints off the wall um, just to hide because there's quite a lot of ugly plugs over there so behind there is a load of plugs so I, I, I quite like that little plant print um, propped up there so that means I've only got two left on my wall but also I've moved the sofa so the prints were um, hung based on the sofa so that they sat so what I'm hoping is that I can use the existing screws, um, use the existing screws that are up there and then any of the screws that you can see I'm going to take out the wall, fill the hole and paint. Yeah that's what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to push those two prints closer together and have them in the centre of the sofa and then have the other green print over there in the corner. So yeah, I'm going to just finish off and then I'll give you a little tour of how it looks. Give me the poop because the poop was so it's all finished I'm so happy with it I would have liked to wait um, till the daytime to be able to show you the finished thing but I really want to get the video up tomorrow today's Saturday so I'm gonna stay up late tonight and edit it so that it can go live on my channel Sunday morning so I'm just gonna show it you now I think it looks really nice and hopefully you can see what it's like even though it's gone a little bit dark outside but yeah Here's the full tour of my new rejigged living room. So now in this corner where the console table used to be, we've now got um, my shelving unit, which I've kind of dressed with the, pretty much the same things, uh, but I've done a little bit of a rejig. So I've got a little um, vintage cabinet that I found in a charity shop that's got some jewellery in um, this little print that used to be in my old house in the bathroom which I actually made out of wallpaper oh the top hanging plant there that's a good old Ikea uh, fake plant <laughs> then we got a mixture of real and um, fake plants in some different pots again I'll try my best to link everything if it's available then I've got a little terrarium and a little marble pot and I need a little succulent to go in that uh, little pot there to sit in that. Um, and then these are just a collection of some of my fossils because I like to collect fossils and pretty rocks. I live by the seaside and so whenever I go to the seaside I pick up rocks which I think are interesting. So yeah, that's just the geek in me. Got a little um, bin there and then on the bottom shelf these are my little... Um, painted pots which I actually DIY'd myself there's a post all about it on my blog so I'll put it in the description box then I've moved that little cage table to here so it's just next to me so I can pop a drink on it and there's my little Laura Ashley pineapple lamp which I've had for ages and I love so the sofa has moved um, a bit quite a bit along so I've moved my prints along I've filled in those two holes. I'll have to paint those tomorrow, but for now they need to dry overnight anyway, the filler. See, I've got all my pink cushions. The rug is looking so much better after it's clean. It's just, um, the pile is nice and fluffy again, so that's nice. And then on my coffee table, I've got my little, um, Aldi candles that everybody got, the ones that look like the diptyque and I quite like them in this little holder so I've left them in there and then a little um, next um, candle which smells beautiful, it's fig and elderflower. So my TV unit has moved slightly along, not by much. 
And I've had a little bit of a rearrange of stuff on the shelves. And then on the other side here of the sofa is one of the Aldi marble tables. So they're like a black powdered uh, metal, real marble top. I've hidden those boxes, which I can't work out what I want to do with them under there because you never know, I might need them. That's a poof for the sofa for you to put your feet on. And then I've got a nice coffee table book. This is my Anthony Gormley book, which I always forget I have full of all of his amazing sculptures. He's my favorite artist, I think he's amazing. And my little plant in my camera pot, which is from Tiger. And then we've got Gus over here on the sofa bed. You all right, Gus? Yeah? You happy there? So he's snuggled up in that corner and then obviously I've left my gold uh, book magazine rack on the wall there. And then this is the newest corner and I just love it. I think it looks really, really cute. It's like a little reading nook. So we've got my little knitted poof. The map chair with a throw and a nice grey cushion on there. The other Aldi table um, is in the corner with one of my Desenio prints and this lamp which was from Home Sense and I sprayed it a bit with gold with a little plant as well um, which I've managed to keep alive sort of and yeah I really love that little corner and then Eddie's there in the other bed which is now he's fast asleep bless him but yeah so that's my little reading nook I guess this is the light that I've got it's a gold um, it's just from B&Q actually but I just really like the design of it so yeah it's got these globes on it so that's it I know it's quite hard to see the whole room um, but it looks really cosy and then when my family come to visit all I'm going to do is just zhuzh that chair just a bit over so you can see the telly so I hope you enjoyed seeing my little living room uh, makeover and of course the changes I made to my bed and my bedroom um, I just thought you guys might want to see some of the things that I've been doing in the house and I'm really happy with everything so I hope you enjoyed my little mini vlog I might do another one if there's some exciting stuff happening and I think that you guys maybe would want to see it so do let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this little mini vlog and obviously give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well subscribe as well if you're not already a lovely subscriber then please do subscribe to my channel and I'll do my best to link as much from my house as I can in the description box so thanks for watching and see you next time